find the truth set of each predicate. Part A, predicate. 6 over D is an integer, and the domain is the integers. So let's remind ourselves what a predicate is. A predicate is different from a statement because it has a variable that is left unquantified. And in this case, for part A, that variable is D. 6 over D is an integer, could be true or false for 1D, and it could be true or false for all D. We don't know how D is quantified, and so this predicate is neither true nor false when left by itself. So we have to find the truth set of each predicate, meaning we have to find which values of D in the domain of all integers that makes this predicate true. So for example, if D were to be six, then six over six, which is one, is an integer, that's true. So let's create this set. So we know six is in this truth set. What else is in this truth set? Well, if D is one, then six over one is an integer because six over one is six, so that works. We can also do the divisors of six, like three and two, because six divided by three is two, which is an integer, and six divided by two is three, which is an integer. Since our domain is all integers, we can also pick the negative values for each of these. And so this is the set of all integers that make the predicate true. So that's part A. For part B, this says the predicate six over D is an integer, and now the domain is all the positive integers. So this is gonna be the same set as for part A, except we only want the positive numbers. So one, two, three, and six. And remember that order doesn't matter when you're writing a set. For part C, the predicate is one is less than or equal to X squared, which is less than or equal to four, and now the domain is all real numbers. So which real numbers have the property such that if you square that real number, that result is between one and four. So part C is asking us to find which inputs correspond to outputs that are between one and four. And we can see here that there are two intervals from the graph, the first interval being from negative two to negative one, and union with the set interval from one to two. So we have two intervals, the interval from negative two to negative one, union, the interval from one to two. So these inputs correspond to outputs of the function x squared that are between one and four. For part D, the predicate is one is less than or equal to x squared is less than or equal to four, but now the domain consists of the integers. And remember that the integers are a subset of the real numbers, meaning every integer is a real number, and not every real number is an integer. So to solve for part D, we can just take the solution from part C and check which of those elements are also integers. And there are only four integers in this interval, specifically negative two, negative one, one, and two. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.